hello friends welcome to brain amplifier and in this video we'll try to understand one aspect of single phase induction motor and we'll try to discuss the circuit diagram of uh, these four types of single phase induction motor that is split phase capacitor start capacitor start capacitor run and permanent split capacitor but the main focus of the uh, the video will be the centrifugal switching in capacitor start uh, capacitor run as well as in capacitor start. Cap start motors we have a centrifugal switch how this switch operates we will see it practically so let's begin so we'll try to understand this uh, all these kinds of motors by this circuit diagram suppose uh, in the three phase induction motors we have multiple phases and due to those phase differences we produce a rotating magnetic field and thus a rotating torque and due to that the motor rotates but in single phase motors we do not have that facility we have single phase and if we want to rotate the motor we have to split we have to split that single phase now how we can do that there are multiple ways first we'll try to understand the split phase what we do in the split phase induction motor we do not have this capacitor neither do we have this uh, centrifugal switch this is my centrifugal switch okay centrifugal switch and this is my capacitor but in split phase induction motor just forget this just see it is shorted okay what we have we have two kind of windings one is main winding or running winding the other is auxiliary winding or starting winding for split phase we should call them main winding and auxiliary winding only how we create a phase difference is just by structuring the windings these two windings in different manner we'll try to split the, that phase how we can do that suppose we make this main winding thicker so what happens we know that r equals to rho l upon a so if this winding is thicker it would have more surface area or i should say cross sectional area sorry more cross section area will result into less resistance okay so if the resistance is less when the winding is thicker here the winding is thinner when the winding is thinner we have less cross section area and thus more resistance so in the main winding we have less resistance in the auxiliary winding we have more resistance the other thing we make more number of turns in the main winding while the auxiliary winding has lesser number of turns okay what happens due to that if we have more number of turns that will result into more inductance while if we have lesser number of turns that will result into less inductance now how we can produce a phase shift by these two uh, structuring of windings suppose this is my voltage line okay so if we'll try to uh, uh, draw the main winding the main winding has less resistance and more inductance so less resistance rr and more inductance that is lr so if we will try to draw the current line it would come somewhere here okay while if we will try to draw the auxiliary winding it has more resistance as it is thinner so more resistance and less inductance it will come somewhere here so thus this is my starting winding current or auxiliary winding current this is my running winding current or main winding current so we have introduced a phase shift alpha just by structuring the these two windings in different ways so due to this that phase shift we know that starting torque is proportional to ir into is into sin alpha that is starting current running winding current starting winding current sine of alpha if the alpha is more sine alpha is more and there will be more starting torque this is how split phase induction motor will work suppose we have capacitor 
परमानेंट स्प्लिट कैपेसिटर सो वॉट विल हैपन इन दैट परमानेंट स्प्लिट कैपेसिटर विल बी हैविंग ए कैपेसिटर इन द सर्किट बट दे विल बी नो सेंट्रिफिकल स्विच सो वॉट वी कैन डू वेन वी इंट्रोड्यूस द कैपेसिटर इन द सर्किट इट विल प्रोड्यूस ए लीडिंग फेज डिफरेंस हाउ सपोज नाउ विल लुक एट दिस डाइग्राम सपोज दिस इज माई वोल्टेज now if we i have capacitor in this circuit it will produce a leading phase shift so in the starting winding or the auxiliary winding i'll be having a leading current because the cap uh, the capacitance will be in this direction uh, and the resistance will be in the, the this direction resultant will be here while in the main winding i have prevailing inductance so due to that inductance my phase will be my current will be lagging so if my current is lagging it will come somewhere here ir that is my running winding or main winding current will be here so thus we have created a big uh, big phase shift in this so if we have created a bigger phase difference between ir and is then we'll be having more starting torque more the alpha more the sin alpha and more will be the starting torque now what happens in capacitor start and capacitor run or capacitor start motors we have this centrifugal switch now first we'll try to uh, understand this switch then we'll see practically how this switch works okay what happens when the motor is in a stopped condition this centrifugal switch is shorted somehow how it is shorted we'll see it later this centrifugal switch is shorted so when this switch is shorted this capacitor is in circuit and this auxiliary winding is in circuit okay but as so uh, we know that we need to uh, create that phase shift only to start the motor once we have created the phase shift and started the motor it will keep on rotating just by its inertia okay so in the beginning we have the shorted centrifugal switch so my auxiliary winding will be in the circuit so it will work as a permanent split capacitor okay as we have discussed earlier now as i will start the motor this centrifugal switch will be will get opened how this will get opened we'll see later somehow due to the mechanical forces due to the centrifugal forces this is a mechanical switch due to the centrifugal so forces this switch gets opened when this switch gets opened this auxiliary winding will no more be in the circuit so now we'll be having only the running winding that that is why it is called running winding it is called starting winding because it is only in the starting phase while it is always in the circuit so it is called running winding also so the my auxiliary winding will be out of the circuit and i'll be having only the main winding in the circuit now we'll try to see this the working of this centrifugal switch practically so this is centrifugal switch in a single phase induction motor what happens uh, we are giving the supply by these two wires in a, in this centrifugal switch these two wires are coming here one is this other is this and here these are two metal strips so what happens okay let me pull this out there is another metal strip round strip and uh, there is contact inside this between this metal strip and this metal strip okay if i push this behind then the contact breaks if uh, it is in normal position there is a contact between this and this what happens in the starting this and this are in contact so when these are in contact uh, these get shorted by this round strip and when these get shorted my auxiliary winding in is in circuit okay because my centrifugal switch is in closed position but as the motor runs at high speed what happens uh, due to the centrifugal forces it uh, due to the centrifugal forces this uh, centrifugal switch uh, uh, what happens this centrifugal switch keeps uh, this uh, round strip 
in this position but uh, due to high speeds this centrifugal switch uh, to high speeds this centrifugal switch pushes it inside because because it spreads in this direction and due to this spring it pushes this uh, metal strip inside and because of this this uh, the contact between this metal strip and that round metal strip breaks contact between this metal strip and that uh, round metal strip breaks and due to which the centrifugal switch gets open and uh, the auxiliary winding gets out of the circuit and there is only main winding so by this we are putting the capacitor only in the starting time <laughs> देखो आप से पड़ जाएगा बंद कर देखो अब वापस पड़ गया ना ये चला हाँ हाँ मोटर ये यही पे मांग रहे बस ठीक ठीक मोटर उल्टे चल रहे हैं